one of the most watched episodes that we've had on Expert Connections was with you and I, you were walking us through an app that you worked with two guys to create in just one weekend. I had an idea for an app to help me figure out my sleep. I've been struggling with sleep for seven years. I didn't even know before that. I've been probably struggling for another 10 years prior to that and didn't know it. The idea was to use this ring that I've got on my finger that takes all this data in and instead of just taking the data to actually provide actionable insight and advice. So they built that in a weekend, it was amazing. From idea to prototype in just three days, more than 2,000 views right here on Expert Connections on YouTube. But Dave, there is a big update really in this. Let's hop into it. a fun update today on one of our most watched videos on Expert Connections. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Julie Fulton-Smith. Let's get right over to our AI Connections expert today, David Smith, my husband. You have been on the show many times walking us through some great demos. Dave, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Julie. Happy to be here. Dave, one of the most watched episodes that we've had on Expert Connections was with you and I, you were walking us through an app that you worked with two guys to create in just one weekend. Tell us about, just give us a quick recap of what that episode was about. Yeah, I had an idea for an app to help me figure out my sleep. I've been struggling with sleep for seven years. I didn't even know before that. I've been probably struggling for another 10 years prior to that and didn't know it. And uh, Riley Cook and Laura, Logan Moroff helped me just in a weekend execute on this idea that I had. The, the idea was to use this ring that I've got on my finger that takes all this data in. And instead of just taking the data to actually provide actionable insight and advice. So they built that in a weekend. It was amazing. Yeah. From idea to prototype in just three days, more than 2,000 views right here on Expert Connections on YouTube. But Dave, there is a big update really in this because you had this idea essentially to take an aura ring. You and I both wear them. It collects all sorts of data on us, uh, health data, especially while we sleep. To your point, what entrepreneur or startup founder does not face issues with sleep problems at some point in time? And you and, and the guys, Logan and, and Riley, had worked to create an app. But now there's an update from Aura, actually. Tell us about this. So I just noticed the other day that there's a new feature. So it's got this Aura Advisor, this how about a tip for the day? And when you tap into that, it's just like what we built that weekend, except this is better because Aura built it. So it, we didn't have to mangle things and wrangle things. This is built right in. It's an expert asleep, and it takes all this data over the past three years. So, so I used it this morning. You can see on there, 628 AM, what's on your mind? I, I slept horribly yesterday. Well, today, HRV heart rate poor. Wonder what's the big change? And why a couple bad scores today? So... We there's a lot there's there, there's a lot here. So I'm just talking, you know, through this thing, getting advice. And there's all kinds of caveats about medical advice and this and that. You know, I'm giving it some information here because I knew it had memory. So I'm saying I never drink coffee or pop, smoke or drug. I drink one gallon of water a day. I'm talking to this thing, tips I've picked up from ChatGPT, telling it to look at all my data, then tell it to me, then tell me the trends. So a lot of times I like to have AI repeat to me. Here's what I know before it makes recommendations. That way the recommendations are, are more on. Then I asked it, what's the number one thing I should do to improve my sleep? It talks about fluctuating bedtime. I said, hey, I'm pretty locked in between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. How tight of a consistency are we talking? And then it, it said, yeah, you know, try to be in a half an hour window. That's my latest thing to try is try to be in a half an hour window. Another question, Julie, I've been wondering for years is when people talk about sleep targets, and they talk about eight hours per night. Are they talking about actual eight hours of sleep? Because I get like, five, six, that's a long way from eight. Or is it just time in bed? Uh, so I asked it this and it's like, oh yeah, it actually means seven to nine hours of sleeping time, not just in bedtime. Uh, so then I talked a little bit about it, you know, is it horrible for me? I don't have that uh, happening. And yeah, it's just a, it just this, this conversation here is exactly what we envisioned whenever that was a year and a half ago, two years ago, whenever that was. So a little bit of context here for those who um, maybe have a similar device, maybe an Apple Watch, maybe a Fitbit, something that is collecting data for you. That is exactly what Aura does through a ring like this. 
There are sensors on the inside there. It is collecting data, put it on my finger. They recommend you wear it on your index finger. That's where it's going to get the, the greatest pulse, the greatest, you know, tapping into my information. But Dave, my biggest complaint, we always joked about this, was I don't really need a ring to tell me that I'm not getting enough sleep at night. Like I, I can tell me that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, in talking with a lot of Aura Ring users, Fitbit users, Apple Watch users, there's always been that question of, okay, now that I have the data, what do I do with this data? How do I get real-time information to help me kind of move this, make it actionable and move it forward? And what you're showing us here from Aura Advisor built on AI right within your Aura app on your phone, which connects to your ring, you're able to ask it um, questions based specifically on your data. So unlike just simply going into even ChatGPT or any other, you know, Google or any other AI tool where you're asking it generic questions about sleep in general or sleep, um, what we know to be true for most people, perhaps, this is specific to you and your data. So for example, what we're seeing on the screen right now, Yesterday, you might have had 90% of a gallon of water. You felt thirsty at bedtime. This is unusual. Um, and then you get a real-time response from Aura uh, giving you information about that. And it mentions heart rate variability, HRV, which is, again, one of the data points that, that Aura tracks. So, Dave, first of all, how, how do you think this is going to help you? How will this AI component built into Aura help you specifically? I'm interested to see, and I just met with a sleep study people two days ago for a follow-up on a sleep study I had, and, and they were saying, hey, you know, 10 to 11, that's great. You're fine on the bedtime. You know, or ring saying, you got to lock that in for half an hour. So that's the thing I can try. And I can say, hey, you know, if I lock it into half an hour, is that better? But Julie, I'm, this is probably version one. And who knows when this thing launched? Actually, I, I just found out about it the other day. And I'll show, we'll show people in a minute how to how to get into it after we show the memory features. But this is like at the beginning. What's it going to be like in a year from now, in five years from now, in 10 years from now? It, another idea I've had is integrating all the health, Apple health data. You know, there's so much more besides just what Aura Ring takes in that's coming into this Apple ecosystem. And my blood test results aren't in my Apple ecosystem yet, but that's that's coming for some hospitals. Some hospitals have that right in there. And I just, I think this is really impressive. And I think it's a, a preview of the future where we'll see this more and more with apps where they have this built in, you know, you're, maybe your bank account will have it built in. And it's kind of like a, a CFO advisor talking to you about cash flow issues or, you know, who know who knows what, you know, that kind of kind of stuff or offering you products that are tailored to exactly your needs or that you tell your bank, I've got this problem. How do I solve it? And it's like, oh, hey, you could do it this way or this way or this way. So I'm, I'm really excited about today to see how it helps me today. And then also where we're going with Aura Ring and with all kinds of products. I, I think this is going to be built into everything. David, I'm looking right now on the Aura blog, their Aura Labs, uh, it says is serving as this innovation hub for its members and researchers and the Aura team to work together. Looks like they just rolled out this AI feature, maybe a soft launch since uh, users weren't necessarily notified it unless they went to the blog, but soft launch in early July. So as you said, we are barely... Um, we're, we're not even two full months into this, really just coming up on two months. So first first version of this, as you were navigating it this morning for the first time, did you notice anything clunky about it or anything that um, still needs to be worked out? Something that's le letting you know, okay, this is first round. I, I thought the beginning was a little bit strange. Hey, what's on your mind? I would like to see more that it's proactive. It's, hey, I looked at your... Last night's data, I've looked at the trends, starting off with something like your your HRV isn't good or this or that. One interesting thing, actually, I turned it on for the first time yesterday. And so in my memories, it asked me what my goals were. It was actually the first first time that I started on. And I just talked to it about my goals. You know, I, I think I said, a, what's your goal? And I, I said, more healthy. And it said, what does that mean? So I said, well, I want to increase strength increase muscle growth i want to drop fat sleep well and eat well so you know we got really dialed into what exactly am i looking for 
So that was so that was looking at your memories right now. Now this is this is the AI memories, correct? So if you wanted to go in there and modify your bedtime, for instance, or um, you're no longer drinking a gallon of water every day, you can change these memories. You can delete things out. Yep, exactly. Yep, you can delete them all, or you can you know, delete individual ones. And to your point about the blog, I don't know when this came out. So I just. I don't know why, but I was I looked the other day in Aura Labs and noticed that it had this Aura advisor that I didn't have turned on. So I just happened to stumble across this thing. It's, it's, so anyway, yeah, David, as Aura you and... Dave, as you just showed, users must first be opted into Aura Labs before they can access this new feature, which is the Aura Advisor. So as Dave just showed, you know, the menu bar, the three lines up on the top left corner of the home screen, um, few different features are available for testing at any given time in the Aura Labs. And this is the brand new Aura Advisor, the latest beta feature um, right now being tested. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So some people out there might have aura rings and, and have this available and not even know it. You've got to opt into labs, I think, and then also opt into the aura advisor specifically. So hopefully some people out there try it out and put some things in the comments. You know, this is brand new territory. We're adventurers. We're not adventuring across the Oregon Trail. We're adventuring in technology. This is groundbreaking. You know, hit me up uh, in the in the comments and let me know what works well for you. David also says um, that you can configure your notification preferences as a part of this Aura Advisor, selecting how often you receive direct notifications from your advisor, daily, three times a week, weekly, and you can specify your preferred time of day. Is it morning, first thing when you wake up, like you were looking at today, afternoon, evening? So check this out. As Dave said, let us know, how are you going to use the Aura Advisor? Are you already using the Aura Advisor? Or if you're hearing about it for the first time, so many of you are, let us know and let us follow along on your journey. Make sure to comment down below so we can hear how you are using Aura Advisor. Dave, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you, Julie. Thank you for spreading the good word. Dave, you know, Aura might want to go back and watch our first episode where <laughs> you and the guys had created this, this interface, because I will tell you one thing I like that you and Logan and Riley had created was a list of questions, some prompts that users might want to know or a take note, because I think that could be really helpful in getting this conversation with the advisor started. So we'll link over to that video. You can check that out as well. As always, Dave, great to have you on Expert Connections. Thanks, Julie. That is all for this episode. We will see you over in the next video. I'm Julie Holton-Smith. We'll see you next time.